Sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smash that subscribe button, turn your notifications so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I am saying massive shout out to every one of you for the love, the support you all show me here. With I am grateful, and you all are super sweet. So today there is a video circulating online about a Jewish woman who made. A terrible comment and people are not finding that funny because i don't know how someone will be very happy that innocent kids are dying kids that did not do anything are dying and the fact that prominent companies also and countries are supporting israel and giving out arm and all that to them is some another one and now people are trying to buy court uh starbucks uh disney and uh mcdonald's because they are also part of the sponsor this jewish karen actually got the guts to say that uh gaza and hamad are experiencing a little bit i mean god's wrath they are being boom boom like bombed by israel and she said that she is so happy that they are experiencing God's wrath. Whew, man. I really don't know who is going to be happy for all this mass genocide that is going on, Israel is committing. I don't know who is going to be happy that Palestinians are going through it all because they want to stand i mean they they, they they want their own independence they don't want to be controlled anymore by israel and somebody got the nerves to come out to say that she is so happy that they are being bombed and killed innocent kids are dying every minute and a woman came out to say she is so happy. Let's get it. Hi everyone. Woo, wow, you hear that? It is, I think, 1 p.m. We are gonna be leaving Ashkelon now because I just don't feel safe here. But I do wanna give you one piece of good news that day and night, every few minutes, sometimes seconds, I can hear our IDF, our incredible army, the living daylights, out of Hamas and it is giving me so much strength uh, you can hear I don't know if you guys can hear now I hope that they are showing Hamas just this much of the wrath of God showing them that if you touch a single hair on any Jew's head we will come and we will you until we just obliterate you from the face of the earth Hamas is such pure evil anyways here in Ashkelon we can hear everything I'm going to Jerusalem now God willing we're gonna leave because I, I just cannot take the constant and like the sirens are are pretty much non-stop I mean like there's breaks in between anyways that's my update Hashem please be with our soldiers I'm so grateful to every single one of our troops for going to the day most dangerous parts in Israel right now and fighting for us and I could hear Hamas being um, pulverized and it's the greatest sound I've ever heard in my life all right stay thirsty Let's talk about the reality of the situation. Hamas is a terrorist organization, a movement. To put things in perspective, people here in the United States view Black Lives Matter as a terrorist organization. However, it is a movement. This woman is celebrating the of a movement. Does that make sense to you? Because the reality of the situation is you aren't a movement. You are innocent men, women, and children. Those she hears, yeah, they're murdering children. And as she's giddy with joy and celebrating children she's gleefully talking about how she's leaving the area because of all the mm -hmm. she doesn't feel safe yeah 
Meanwhile, the innocent men, women, and children over in Palestine, they're not free to leave. They're trapped. Mm -hmm. And they're either dying, seriously injured, or will soon be dead because of the... This is the reality of the situation. This is what she's celebrating. And she's praying that their army will be kept safe so they can continue to murder innocent men, women, and children. These are God's chosen people. <laughs> IDF, our incredible army bombing. Without a shadow of a doubt, this may very well be one of the most evil things I've ever seen or heard on this application since I've been on it. This woman is talking about celebrating the bombing of Hamas. Hamas, the ideology, hasn't been hit by a bomb yet. The people have, though. When Hamas talks about bombing the government of Israel. No, you're not. You're bombing Israeli people. Now she leaving because it's not safe for her. Because she knows her ideology and her religious belief aren't the ones that's going to be catching a fucking round. She will, though. Who the fuck celebrates the loss of life? Who does that? And then you look in her comment section, it's a bunch of people that are saying, yay, what? Y'all have no fucking idea how close to tears I am right now. I don't think I can convey it in words, how close to tears I am. I am not feeling good. I still ain't feeling good, but I am close to tears because of what she just said. It's the most cruel, disgusting thing I think I've ever heard off this application. This is why I continue to say that religion is a Ponzi scheme and it's also a death cult. It's that fictional idea of good and evil come to life. Ideologies are evil. Human beings are human beings. That's exactly what they are. A person can have an ideology that is evil, but it is only when they actually do something that crosses that line. I want religions gone. I think religions uh, impede the, the evolution of humanity. But that does not mean I'm going to bomb a church full of people. Doesn't. Because that doesn't get rid of religion. I want ideologies gone like terrorism. But I know the ideologies are not going to be removed if I bomb a group of people. And she just did this like, yeah, it's no big deal. It's like when people talk about the war on, t on uh, uh, drugs. I'll give you an example. War on drugs. So drugs, the war on drugs is the ideology. Do you think crack cocaine in the FBI are slugging it out on the streets? No. The war on drugs is basically a war on people. Treat people like shit. Arrest people. Detain people. Kill people. Drugs ain't gone nowhere. The war on drugs is an ideology. Who is suffering for it, though? People. Human beings. They breathe air. They have lungs and hearts. They have blood in their veins. People. The war on terror is an ideology. But there are people on the ground. Bin Laden literally was an evil human being, not because of his ideology, but because of what he did. His mindset killed people. 
Hamas isn't shooting rockets into Israel. They're shooting rockets at people. The IDF isn't sh- isn't uh, shooting rockets at Hamas. They're shooting rockets at people. They're bombing people. And this woman just sat here and bragged about it. Just bragged. But she leaving because she ain't safe. She ain't safe. Because her religion isn't the one that might catch her round in the fucking head. Her religion ain't the one that's going to knock down a goddamn building. But a bomb will and she'll be the one dying. She don't feel safe. But sure, let's brag about how our government entity is bombing people. Oh, I'm sorry. They're bombing Hamas. That is cruel. That is fucking cruel. This is why I lose hope for humanity. This is why. This is why I lose hope for humanity. Because we're not talking about fighting an ideology. We're talking about fighting people. People. I said earlier this week, the Israeli government and Hamas's leadership are not going to catch a round. They're going to be eating dinner, talking shit. Meanwhile, the people on the ground are going to die. And then this woman just brags about it. I don't think there's a hope for humanity anymore. I just don't. Whether it's 60 foot slugs with shrimp forks, nuclear winter, or just climate change cracks this planet in half, I don't think there's a hope for humanity anymore. Because we are raising generations with this idea that if you kill enough people, an ideology will die. If you kill enough people, you will you will show that your religion is superior. If you blow up enough buildings, you will show the might of your government. But we forget in every one of those instances, people die. People die. I just don't think there's any hope for us anymore. And every single day. I'm proven right. Um, pulverized, and it's the greatest sound I've ever heard in my life. All right, stay thirsty. Out of all the disgusting videos I've seen, this has to be, like, number one. This is just a short clip of the awful fucking video that this woman made. But basically, they are dancing and singing and celebrating the fact that Israel is, every few minutes, bombing and killing innocent civilians in Gaza. I just can't even wrap my head around the fact that how are you celebrating that? 2,300 Palestinians murdered, 700 of them are children. And that is just from what I saw on the news this morning. I'm sure the numbers are way up higher now. When you say that you stand with Israel, you are standing with people just like this. These are the people of Israel that you are standing with, not your Jewish friend who lives in New York City. Everyone needs to report this woman's page. She does not deserve a platform to speak on. How dare you say stay thirsty to these innocent civilians? Just so you know, God hates ugly. Hi, everyone. Oh, wow. You hear that? It is, I think, 1 p.m. We are going to be leaving Ashkelon now because I just don't feel safe here. But I do want to give you one piece of good news. That day and night, every few minutes, sometimes seconds, I can hear our... IDF, our incredible army, bombing the living daylights out of Hamas. And it is giving me so much strength. Uh, You can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear now. I hope that they are showing Hamas just this much of the wrath of God, showing them that if you touch a single hair on any Jew's head, we will come and we will bomb you until we obliterate you from the face of the earth. Hamas is such pure evil. Anyways, here in Ashkelon, we can hear everything. I'm going to Jerusalem now, God willing. We're going to leave because I I just cannot take the constant bombing. 
and like the sirens are are pretty much nonstop. I mean, like mm. there's breaks in between. Anyways, that's my update. Hashem, please be with our soldiers. I'm so grateful to every single one of our troops for going to the day most dangerous parts in Israel right now and fighting for us. And I can hear Hamas being um, pulverized, and it's the greatest sound I've ever heard in my life. All right, stay thirsty. Do you know the level of cognitive dissonance you need to be able to have to not only gleefully post online that you are enjoying the bombing that you know includes children and civilians that are not a part of a part of Hamas, but not only that, say in the same sentence, well, I'm so tired of hearing the sounds of bombs that I'm going to go somewhere where I don't hear them. And honestly, this is a moment where I need a lot of Americans to wake the fuck up because I have seen the amount of people who are saying, well, if you don't want to see scary stuff, like stay off of the internet for the weekend. I need people to recognize right now that there are children being unalived in mass. And this woman is gleefully talking about bombs dropping on them. And it's funny because there's all these people who are pro-Israel who are coming and saying, well, how dare you all even question why we're doing this or what we're doing, you know? And all I can think about is children, literal children who, who were told to evacuate. And when people try to evacuate and civilians try to evacuate, their routes that they took were bombed. The bridge that they were supposed to take, which is the one exit out of the area was bombed. And, 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 and we think that this is, that this is a fair fight, that, that these are two warring nations or groups that are fighting on fair standings. And it's like, I know many of you on here who, who are like this or who are, are gleefully like this, call yourselves godly people. And it continues to re, further reinforce to me that religion will be the biggest plague in this world truly and and i know that's gonna hurt people's feelings i know that's gonna upset people before and and i and i mean this across all religions whether or not it's christianity judaism like the big three in particular it does it it does it not come across weird that the supposedly a lot of the most godly people in this world that preach the most god that they are the most godly and they follow the highest gods cannot seem to stop finding themselves in wars? Is is that not just baffling to anybody else? I grew up Roman Catholic and I com saw how it completely tore up my family's dynamic. And and anytime I, I, I meet with people who are heavily religious, it just seems like you take mass on alivings as some like biblical something that is just meant to happen and and it's funny because a lot of you will question the morals of people who are not religious and i'm like we aren't the ones that are wanting to engage in things like this i i just I, I, the way she invokes god throughout this conversation talking about bombing people but continues to invoke god as if Whoever this godly being that all of you pray to would ever look down at this and be like, yeah, <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Because if that is your God, I, I want no parts in it. Truly, no parts. It sounds like your God needs some fucking therapy. Let's let's be fucking honest here. EF, our incredible army bombing the living day. Go back and watch your video for full context. But but like so many like Israeli um. Israel, um, Israeli people are that they sound just like Trump supporters or like um, American conservatives with, with like the way they are talking about this whole thing. They're like they sound like like the way they talk. I get flashbacks to how like conservative Americans would talk about like the um AIDS epidemic or like or like the overpolicing of black communities or like the kids in cages at the American border. So like they like like. Like it's like making excuses or like almost like glorifying awful actions that are happening to regular people, humans who did nothing wrong, and and trying to act like they deserve it and stuff like that. That like their cadence, the smiles on their face, their mannerism. It it reminds me so much of like how like 
how like American conservatives and Trump supporters and outright Americans act and talk and speak that like they're looking for any justification and, and, and some, some of them are moving without any type of justification at all. It's just, it's, it's, it's so fascinating how big the similarities between, between, between like the American, uh, the, 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 the American oppressive regimes of like that is so similar like, 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 this whole situation is so similar to, like, how, like, America treats its marginalized people and stuff like that. That, like, they are acting so much like America. And it's, and it's almost, and, and like, 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 it feels like, it feels like so much like the black experience j- just in another place. And, and, like, I'm, and, and, like, I'm not trying to remove, like, a nuance from, like, the whole past century. It's a lot more nuanced than that. But, but like so much of it feels like a snapshot at at certain times of like the Afro American experience, the Native American experience, and all and all and all that through, throughout like the two hundred plus years that America has existed and stuff like that. That like there are so many times when like when like Israeli people come come up and come come up and making their think pieces or like or like or like you have foreigners talk 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 talking about the issue on the side of Israel and stuff like that. When when you when you're talking about like like like, like the actual nuance and how many people are being alive and stuff like that, and and they and they respond with let's pray for both sides and this and that, it just reminds me so much of like how like conservative Americans react to so many marginalized communities in America, specifically the Native American African American community. It feels so like just out of touch and so like so like just like like like. like 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 it reminds me of like that saying that like the more the world changes the more it stays the same because because like because like this feels so much at so many points like american history like like certain parts of of what i've been learning about about this whole thing and i'm still learning so that i've ordered books to read on the whole thing um and i have to order more too uh, but 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 like it all just feels like moments that like really have happened in American history to to like Native Americans to Black Americans to like queer Americans to like to 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 to, to like Latino Americans stuff like that like 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 some of the things I've learned have reminded me of like of of like the Tusla Tusla race massacre the Zoot Suits riots and like and 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 and, and, like, and like all that like certain things remind me of like the heavy policing of Black communities and stuff like that. Of like of like of 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 like of like of like American cops essentially torturing um mainly like black and brown people but also like just doing also unspeakable things to women and stuff like that. It just it's like that 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 they're like honestly, if you're a BIPOC American, specifically native or black and you support Israel, I truly don't see how you could because it sounds so much like 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 what has happened to us and 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 what and what like we have been put through it just like, like, like i'm trying to say it's so scary how much like it's such like a copy and paste thing again there's more nuance to it and, and some it's and not everything is very it's all not not everything is like the same but like so much of it feels like it's such an easy thing to relate to and and th- and this is one of the things you don't ever want to relate to someone someone with because it's so awful but like so much of this feels like real things that happen in ha- that that have happened in the American community and stuff like that to like Afro Americans and Native Americans. It's like it's it's that that like that like the 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 amount of people that have so much so 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 many problems with like American imperialism but like are also have no problem with, with like with like Jewish imperialism and colonialism is is like it's sad to me because 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 you realize how awful Amer- the American government is. You realize how like corrupt and and colonial and and, and, and neo colonial the American government is to things like capitalism and pink washing and all stuff like that. But you're supporting Israel when they're very clearly very similar to 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 like how my country operates, to how my country moves. It's it's it, it it's overwhelming and. For for lack of better words, it's very, very overwhelming. Hi everyone. Woo! Wow, you hear that? It is I think one PM. Do you know how diabolical it is to go to somewhere somewhere that you do not belong? That is not your land. And then celebrate the massacre of the indigenous people that live there. Y'all are evil. This is no. There is no coming back from this. Y'all are morally corrupt.
Y'all are, no. Like, seriously, there's no coming back from this. I don't think an apology, I don't think donating, I don't think any of that is ever going to make you all come back from this. You all are supporting a genocide while also being the ancestor of people that went through genocide. This is egregious. IDF, our incredible army bombing the living. In every interview I've seen of either someone from Palestine or someone who is Muslim, they have been constantly asked to condemn Hamas. Do you condemn? Do you condemn? Before they can say anything else, they are forced to condemn a terrorist organization. And of course, they all do. And on the other side, this is what the people in Israel are celebrating. They are celebrating the death of thousands of innocent people. They don't have to condemn the death of any civilian. And in fact, they are there are people that are rejoicing in it. And of course, I know it's not all Israeli people, it's not all Jewish people, you know, but the ones who are for this genocide are very loud in this conversation. And let me say this again, Israel allowed Hamas to kill innocent civilians in Israel. We know that not only Egypt, but the U.S. told them about this attack that Hamas was going to do and they did nothing to stop it because this was their key to commit genocide. Israel sacrificed their own civilians to destroy Gaza. And I can hear Hamas being um, pulverized and it's... It, uh, it, 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 it took me a little bit to be able to verbalize anything in response to this. Because that, that's not Hamas being bombed. That's, that's children. That's children in hospitals and innocent families. And the ghoulish glee over the death of people that had nothing to do with this is... I, I can't. The delight in the suffering of these groups of people that have been so consistently dehumanized. I, I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble right now. We see this with trolls on the internet making jokes about higher suicide rates within the LGBT community. It's almost ubiquitous at this point in the racism in, I know, American culture, I'm the one I'm speaking from. This is evil in its purest form. I'm not even sure how these how people can live with themselves anymore. It, it, and I don't know what to do. I, I want to help. I know there's many other people out there that want to help. But how do you fix a problem like this? I do apologize if I'm not put together. This is making me a little emotional. And I this is from the comfort of my own home, not being bombed. It's relative safety. I, I can't even imagine what the people of Gaza are dealing with right now. Keep All I can say is just keep sharing people's stories, keeping spreading awareness, keeping eyes on the matter. If you're able to, donate to charities that will help and keep calling out monsters like this person. Incredible army bombing the living daylights. Out of Palestinian children, not Hamas. Hamas is somewhere between 20 and 40,000 people and Israel is bombing millions, a population that's half kids. And you're in the most public place on the planet creaming your jeans over the idea of exploded children trying to pretend that it's only Hamas when you know better. And this genocide that's being committed by your government is funded by mine. It's on the dime of every American citizen. So I promise you, none of us are meeting God. So here we have an occupier. Uh, she sounds like she's from the States and she's laughing and smiling at the fact that bombs are being rained down on children. Right so here. this is all I got from the video. And uh, yeah, so I really don't understand. Like, you know, the whole thing is escalating really, really, really fast and so quick. And as of yesterday night, I mean, the Israel, uh, Pum Pum, uh, Gaza, yeah, and hospital, Gaza hospital, and uh, it's like been confirmed that about a thousand five hundred uh, children or people are like you know the death rolls so far, and number one is that uh. I do not have to uh, be in support of uh, Palestine or this thing to 
be human or something what i am trying to say is that we just have to be human to understand that what it's going on in palestine and uh, between israel gaza and um palestine it's a kind of a horrible thing and israel is overdoing it because they are also getting a lot of support from so many peoples us is like according to you they say a touch on them is a touch on israel and all that so they are pushing out all their support and all that and a lot of people are also by cutting uh disney uh starbucks and mcdonald's because they are also sponsors they are sponsoring israel too so you can imagine waking up to someone something like this i mean this kind of woman saying thank god that they are experiencing a little of touch for just for touching god's children trust me you already do not even know god because if you know god you will know that killing innocent children or killing human being it's very horrible and your god does not preach that because I haven't seen where it is written that go out, you, you, you all go out there and uh, kill to win a soul. And coming from a woman, it's really very horrifying. People like this, people should, really should be very careful of her. And then seeing the comment section, knowing that a lot of people are also supporting her, Jewish, because she is Jewish, are supporting her. And then she saw that uh, she was getting a lot of heat. And she decided to private her video number one is that we already know their hearts we already know that i mean what i mean her heart that this is she meant what she said and uh knowing that innocent kids out there are just dying every minute makes this even more horrible because I usually know that when it comes to anything that got to do with war, it's usually the innocent. The ones that do not have any protection, the ones that do not have anyone to speak for them are usually the ones affected. Because the upper hands, the ones that know people already, they've been pushed somewhere, they're already being kept somewhere where nothing will happen to them. And watching all this mass genocide happening and some people are sponsoring them makes me like you know really sad like i said you don't have to support you just have to be human to condemn what it's going on in israel what israel what they are doing you just have to be human to condemn it this is all i got to say see you all in my next video bye for now